Welcome back to the channel everybody. So it's review time, it's pink and it's the new G430 and it's the iron. So I've got a four, a seven and a pitching wedge. I'm gonna hit all three of those, provide you with some numbers, some feedback of this new lineup of irons. If it's anything to go by the woods, these are gonna be incredible. So G430 irons, ping irons in general, obviously are very, very strong. The shaping of the head hasn't changed much in this G series for many, many years. And to be honest, it's still a very good performing iron and very, very popular for a lot of amateur golfers. Ultimate forgiveness is really what ping are sort of saying with this type of iron. And we've got a little bit of new technology to talk about in this video. So first instincts, when we look at the back of the golf club, it looks pretty good. Yes, there's some technology looks to be happening there. Big, deep cavity in there for obvious reasons. But we've still got that very distinctive ping little cut out on the back of the hosel. Looking on the on the head, it's very much that ping G shaping again. But when I put it in that plane position, I think that top edge is a lot cleaner. It's a little bit of offset as you're going to expect. Blade length relatively long, heel to toe, as again you're going to expect. But I think that's a nicer shaping than probably what we've seen in the G425. And I will do a direct comparison video between the 430 and the 425, uh, uh, which will come very, very soon to the channel. So let's get things underway with this seven iron. Okay, it's a nice look down by that golf ball, nice shaping. Obviously got a bit of offset there, sort of medium thickish top line, but I'm edging more on that thickness, but a little bit more rounded, so it's not blocky which is good. And as always, they've got that bottom white groove, which I like from Ping. Oh, and that's a beautiful ball flight to kick things off with. Now, obviously with the sound, you know, the, the clicky, aren't they, these g -ions, and they're not gonna be probably any different. That's quite a refreshing number there. Look at that spin number. Now, bear in mind, this is 7 iron, and these lofts have gone a little bit stronger in this new version, and it's 29 degrees as the standard spec. Now, they do offer that retro spec, which is a little bit more higher loft, and also that strong spec, which I'm not sure many would probably go into that because they would be ridiculously strong, but 29 degrees. So it is a little bit stronger than the previous 425, but that spin number there, and that's a decent strike, it's quite a nice sort of refreshing number. Yeah, it is quite clicky, but it's not intrusive. Really nice high flight there. I think I'm interested to look at the, the land angle, the actual height of that ball. Yeah, 116 feet high, 51 descent angle and just under 6,000 that spin. That's got loads of stopping power. Let's talk a little bit of technology what Ping have put into this iron. So Ping are saying this is 7.5 yards longer than the 425. Now obviously that little bit of strength of the loft is gonna make a little bit of difference of that ball speed. But they're saying it's over two mile an hour quicker on that ball speed. Again, that'll be an interesting comparison video which will be coming your way. So we've got Hyper 17.4 stainless steel body. It's a 3% thinner club face in comparison to the 425. And it's actually gonna create a greater height of ball flight, which we're sort of seeing there, because like I say, 116 feet is pretty high for a 29 degree seven iron. And there's a little bit of test of forgiveness. That's a little bit of a low toe. Yeah, it's a bit of low toe on that one. Ball speed's just dropped a little bit. The spins go out. Wow. I mean, that was a little bit low on the face. That spin has gone up quite a bit there. So again, it's, I, I, I'm loving that. So what looks like to be a new bit of technology that Ping have introduced on the back is this port flex is what they're calling it. So it's a flexing of the face. It's like badge that sits inside this sort of cavity. It's creating a lot of different flex points in this club face. So again, it's all around getting that ball speed. But what Ping do say is it actually reduces spin, which is a little bit strange. Uh, when I'm sort of seeing, well, from me personally, on my strikes, my delivery, that, sh that uh, spin rate there is, is pretty high for 29 degrees. So I'm not sure about reducing spin, but a bit of flex in there helping that ball speed. And they're also saying it does help a little bit on improving that sound and that feel. And yeah, possibly. I mean, it's still quite a clicky sound to it. Stunning. That's a really gorgeous ball flight. Nice, good central hit. Decent ball speed, 127, just short of again. It's a, it's a different spin number, that. As I mentioned, I've got the um, 4, a 7 and a pitching wedge. And I've just hit some with a 4 iron. 
which I'll just show you a few swings on screen now. And, you know, with the looks of the forehand, obviously we've seen a little bit more of that offset there. Again, it's a thickish top line. We do see the back sole of the club just protrude on the back of that top line as we look down. It's not really sort of eye-catching, to be honest, but it is obviously there. I'm not sure many will go into a forehand because the loft on this forehand is 19 degrees. I'll pop all the lofts of the clubs up on screen now for you. We'll talk a little bit about the bottom end of the bag. So maybe I'll see a lot of golfers maybe going that five iron, which starts at 22 degrees and maybe then introducing some hybrids typically. Love hitting that, that's beautiful. Again, lovely high towering ball flight. Now maybe what's helped me a little bit with that ball flight is Ping have lowered this CG again in comparison to the 425. So it's, it's 0 0.050 inch lower in the head in that CG placement. So that's helping to create a little bit more faster ball speeds on those low strikes on the club face, but also probably helping to increase a little bit of that MOI, that, that sort of forgiveness and really controlling that ball flight. And probably for me, just getting that ball flight launching a little bit higher, which definitely seeing that. Now I've also hit some shots with the pitching wedge. And again, I'm gonna throw the uh, sort of numbers up on screen while I'm just talking through that. And, and the, for me, the pitching wedge is a, is a really good shape for a game improvement iron very rounded it it looks a little bit like a glide sort of shape and obviously just a little bit bigger a little bit thick on that top line but i think they could blend quite nicely if you did want to put those glide wedges into the bag now ping have actually added an extra wedge in that low end now because these lofts are strong this pitch wedge is coming at 41 degrees it is pretty strong so they've added an extra wedge in there so the instead of it calling a gap wedge sand wedge lob wedge like we've seen in the past we've actually put the loft numbers on the toe of the club now i haven't actually got one of these because i've only got the pitching wedge but they do a 45 a 50 a 54 and a 58 so this is where you maybe you've got to be careful and probably most guys will probably drop out that four iron that top end of the bag to accommodate that extra wedge so for me with the foot g430 it's a better looking club than the 425 i'll do a direct comparison video as i mentioned that will come soon but for me a little bit of a better look better shaping of the head and some very impressive numbers from that test there in terms of that spin for a game improvement iron along with some distance it's a tough combination i think for many brands to get those two lined up together i think ping have done it quite nice there so appreciate watching the video as always if you haven't subscribed appreciate you just hitting that subscribe button very much helps me smash that like button as well and hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon